Okay, so what's up, my quesadillas? Bro, this, guy, this guy believes that he's stronger than me. In his head, this guy, he has that. In his head, he's more, he's gonna walk around more calm. He's gonna walk around with his dick out now. Uh, yeah, for like maybe maybe for, for today. And you can do that. Shit now. Yeah, but you're gonna forget about it, and then he's gonna forget about you it. Can do that now. Oh my god. He's gonna forget about it. His dick was his dick was all shriveled up. He needed to do that for the dick uh, pump. But it's gonna go back to normal. Damn, we should. So don't yeah, stop he, letting he it mess like with you. Fucking that was just a little ego pump for him. It's not permanent. He's not gonna fold. He's not gonna remember that forever. Even if he brings it out of his memory, it's not gonna do anything for him. Everything from his stomach to his spleen to his That's skin. all you, bro. That's all you. He believes that he is a motherfucking killer now. Nah, this that's guy, you, bro. This guy... <laughs> this guy believes he's a motherfucking killer. That's all you, bro. Oh, my goodness. Fuck, oh, okay, so... I fucking... My case of these, um... Oh, wow. Holy shit, oh, that was, like, the craziest God. thing. I was actually out of all my altercations oh. with, like, in Japan. Like, that was the craziest wow. thing. Um, oh, fuck! Wow! That was crazy. So like, so like basically I was in this club called Neverland with my boy Daichi. Uh, it was like four o'clock. And like there was this girl who was like offering us tequila shots. And I was like, oh, for free? And she was like, no, like, you know, go send or, you know, 500 bucks or 500, yeah, 500 cents or whatever. 500 yen. And um, we gonna be different, that's for sure. Yo, UFC world champion, lightweight world champion, boxer, unified four belt, four belt era champion. I, so, um, what is it? Uh, fucking we. So I, so like, she was like, oh no, not like, you know, it's it's 500 yen, and I was like, oh okay, and then. I like pulled out the tequila, so tequila bottle Why like out of her belt, you, you know, you know, a little I like cheeky, you know, big cheeky, and she, uh, and she like you know like turned around and you know stopped it, Why but I guess the tequila to bottle wasn't like fully back inside because I just let go when she you know when she took my hands off it you know when she when she did that and so I guess it wasn't fully inside so as she was walking away the tequila bottle fell on the floor and it was you know. And then I was like, oh shit, like, you know, all right, let's uh, get out of here. Let's walk away. And so as we're walking away, the girl was like holding my arm. She was like, no, you got like stay. And she was like waiting for the bartenders, waiting by the and side I of the bar. The I missed the fucking jab. Yeah, we were holding. She was, she was crazy as bitch ass with my fucking jab. We we're standing on the side of the. I really. <laughs> Daichi, Daichi. Daichi, you have like tight, you have no awareness, bro. Got, you have no awareness. Holy boss. shit, like shit. Bro, I'm going to leave you if you keep talking. We're almost at Harajuku. Wow. I'm going to leave you, bro. Guy, hey, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Maybe Holy maybe fuck. he deserves a little pass. <laughs> maybe his fuck ass deserves a little pop. Maybe that's true. No, he doesn't deserve props. There was fucking five of them. It was literally one of us versus. You're taking too much responsibility. That was that was like one versus fucking six. And there are bouncers there. Are probably all trained MMA fighters too. Nah, but um, fucking, what happened? Uh, yeah, she was like standing by the side of the bar. Daichi, fucking shit. Daichi, you fucking idiot. Bro. Stop. Daichi. You're a fucking idiot, bro. Daichi's literally an idiot, and he's gonna get us in trouble. We could go home scot free. See, this bro, is. We need to go and fight them. You know why we they. We need to go and fight them again. You know, they know their power. We need to go back and have another match. You know why you lose? Because you don't know you don't know your limits. You gotta go 2 v 2 You don't know your limits, and that's part of winning. You gotta know your limits. You gotta know which battles to oh take. Oh my fucking god, I look so weak. I'm just, I look so and weak. And that's all you care about. You just care about your little ego, just trying to look strong. You don't know how to put it aside. Oh, that's fact. I didn't look weak. I was weak. You're right. <laughs> you were not weak, bro. You just, you just, uh, you were not weak, bro. That guy 
probably feels better than everybody Relax, right now. Relax, bro. That guy is probably the best thing living right now. You know, you know the popos right there, oh, right? Man. They can see you, so like man, just he, relax. He, he really feels great right now. He really feels the best he's ever felt, ever. Oh my! Why did I listen to y'all? Why did I listen to a stranger? And why did I listen to y'all? Why the fuck did I listen to you? Man? You gotta listen to me. Don't listen to them, but listen, listen to me. To you gotta listen to me right now. That's for sure. Why did I listen to y'all? That was the lamest thing. I could have ever done in my lifetime was not just scrap again because because if i would have scrapped again <laughs> Bro, you're the, you're, i would have won if you're I the same again, thing as them man you are the same thing as them you want to prove your power oh, the same God. way they do <laughs> you got the same ego oh they do oh my gosh what your, did I ego, listen to your ego is the oh same thing as them bro <laughs> you're the same as them bro bro i would never listen to you again you're an idiot you're an idiot oh my goodness Oh, Anosa! Anosa! Alright, bro. So, Hola. like. Sound cocker! Okay. You know what? Look, so the bartender was standing next to the bar, and wow. um, she was like. Comment, kinda, you know what? I'm staking my heart. She was, um. One thing that I was fearful of was that they'd actually bring out the police, but I guess they didn't. They didn't even do. They didn't even bring out the police, so it wasn't even a legal situation. I was. That, I was not Bring out the police, and we look like. That means. That means that. That means. That means they just wanted to like, fucking show off. They just wanted to like do some shit. It wasn't even a legal thing. No cap. Like that's all they wanted to do. So I just. No, but that that just proves their fucking ego. Oh my god. He gonna, he gonna go home and fuck his shorty with some extra vigor today, ain't he? That's probably he true. He gonna feel real good today, huh? Yeah, but then, the, but then yeah, she's... God. Yeah, but that's just today, and then she's not gonna oh feel that again goodness. for the rest of his life, because there's no one else like us that he could prove that against. Oh, my fucking goodness. This, uh, this oh, my God. All right, um... So, like, fucking... Uh, girl, bartender was like trying to hold my hand and like told him telling me to stay and then like i'm like oh shit like guys you super should probably get out of here you know just you know i'm half japanese at least i know some of the japanese mindset like you know i'm a ninja i gotta know when to leave no i'm not a fucking complete idiot like this guy fucking like that shit. <laughs> uh, i know i know i can pick my battles you know i know when to leave so i was about i was leaving and the bodyguards like pulled up with their flashlights and stuff as we're going out they kind of took us out and then when we got out when we got out um you know they actually kept staying with us and then we're, i was trying to leave we we're trying to get out and then just it just got rougher and rougher and they just kept and you know they got rougher and rougher and then they he, the one dude put me in a headlock and then you know it was like i don't know it was like 1v3 i didn't even do anything i didn't have a chance he, he put me in a headlock before i could do anything but, um, I mean, I wasn't going to do anything. I wasn't, I know, I know how it is. I know, how, I know the unfairness out here. So I just got to play with my words and I uh, not shit like that, but. Yep, and then he put me in a headlock, and I was trying to fight. I wasn't fighting, I was just trying to get out of the headlock, because he was doing it really hard, or like I couldn't breathe. You know, I was like, and, he, and they were like beating my ass, they were like punching me, slapping me. Even when I was compliant, they slapped me again, headlocked me until I was on the floor. I was unconscious and I woke up and it felt like a video game. I felt like it was like I woke up or something. I was like, whoa. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, this is real. Oh, this is like an actual thing that's happening. Oh, I thought this was like a, a memory or a dream or something. And I just woke up and I was like, oh shit, whoa, this is a thing. And I just got up immediately like real fast and then taken down again. And 
Yep, and then I look over in the, I look across the street, Daichi's got three dudes on him, on his neck. Like, like every, all the stories of the police brutality in America. Um, we were just, uh, we were outnumbered, we were outforced, and, and, uh, you know, he broke my necklace. Broke my necklace. I had this for um, four years now. I got this when I first, my first year in Shibuya. The club gave me this, and I've been wearing this for four years. Four years straight. I even upgraded it when I got to Coronado last year, two years ago. I upgraded it. I put a little, put a little bolt on it with a little like plastic tag on it of a swim brand or something. I don't even know, but I just made it look kind of slightly fancy. And, um, it's broken. I don't even know where the other part is. I just have this. But I guess I'll keep this for memory. And then they, my, my bracelet fell off and I had to, like, pick that up as I was... As I was, uh, let's, let's put, here, hold on, hold on, worm, hey, little worm man is in the middle of the, worm man is in the middle of the, uh, is in the middle of the road, so I'm gonna pick him up, I'm gonna throw him in the grass, hold on, the worm in the soil, okay, so, uh, anyway, um, Yeah, I woke up, you know, it's, as he was choking me out, I barely reached for my moonstone bracelet, and it was weird, it was like, everyone was just watching, as if it was this TV show, like. Yeah, let's go to Kabukicho. No, I really, why? Let's go to Kabukicho. For what? Let's just see what's over there, what's happening. I want to go home, bro. All right. You go home too. Meditate on it. Relax. And like take this and remember this moment, put it in your next next MMA fight. And that's why you're gonna lose, because you can't even you have no capacity to to be wise. To put your ego aside. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Continue to do that. I like to see where that takes you. Whatever the fuck we want, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah well. I cannot take advice from you on anything. Ah, ah, ah. I cannot take advice from you on anything. I don't need advice from nothing. I don't need clarity from nothing. I judge my. See, I don't need approval. I don't need gratification. I don't need a stamp of fucking shit. Yeah, you do. That's that literally what you're trying to do to yourself right now. I don't give a fuck. I don't need it. I don't need a stamp of approval. I can do what the fuck I want and I can act however the fuck I want. And you know what? That is that is my own truth. I mean, I'm sure he's right. My truth is my abs is absolute. I feel that. I feel that, but like, you can play the game a little better. I don't need an opinion, a second guess, or a damn thought about shit. Let's walk, yo -yo Let's walk through your yogi. Let's walk through your yogi. So, um, yeah, oh shit. All right, let's go. Hey, Daichi. Oh. Now, fuck them, though. They were, like, some, some bitches, that's for sure. They probably lost their last MMA fight. That's why they had to do it on some casuals. So, um, yeah, bartender lady, she was, 
see was, you know, oh yeah, so I was like walking out. Oh yeah, I told the whole story, but it's just a lot rougher than you think. Like it was, it literally looked like those videos where, um, of police brutality in America. That's literally what it looked like. It wasn't even the police though. It was just these bouncers. Like six of them. I don't even know how much. But. That's literally what it was like. Might have been even rougher. And that was crazy. No one was recording. Not a single person. No, no Japanese person was recording. Not a single person. And I heard things like, oh, kakui, like, like, cool. And I thought they were talking about me. But then later, I think I realized, I mean, maybe they were talking about me, but then I heard another one at the end of it. It was like, Oh, I heard another kakui, and then I saw that she was saying it to the bouncer. Everyone here is fucking blind. Everyone here, bro. Well, maybe not everyone, but you know, like the majority. Damn. How was he cool? He was. He had the whole. Oh fucking United Prefectures of Japan on his side. That, how is that cool? Me and Daishi, we were alone. We had two Americans trying to help us, but they weren't doing shit. They were just trying to fulfill their own virtue. They were just trying to feel like some virtual... They were just trying to be some virtue signalers. They weren't actually yeah, listening to me. And trying to Let's like go. record when I was trying to tell them to like actually helping us out. You got a whole actually listening. Right here. Why the fuck are you trying to fight sticks right now? You got a whole katana. Right you have here. no control over your emotions, man. This right here is a perfectly good blade. I just carved and made that out for you, bro. Let's go. Mine is better and more dense. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> like, you're funny, honestly. You're funny, but you gotta put that aside, man. What? Why are you trying to fight? Why? What are you doing? Oh, okay. I'm gonna find my own way back before I hurt you too. Okay, now you're really I'm being an idiot. Before I hurt you too, I'm leaving now. Where'd your shoes go? I might just start killing you with this stick. Go ahead, but after you kill me, you're gonna realize you're an idiot. Yeah, and then, like, when I woke up, I think they finally, I, I was complying. I was like, all right, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just going to not do anything. And, and they kept choking me out, though. They kept applying pressure. And then when they finally were satisfied, they had their little power orgasm. They were finally let go. And then I, and then I uh, you know, I was able to stand and I, I was there, and the, some other dude was like holding a little, holding my holding my necklace over his over his head, like joking around with other bouncers. And some of the bouncers seemed nice, just like docile and like just complying with the with the rest of them. 
and uh, it's crazy. I can totally see how I look like the villain, though. I look like the villain, like, cause I'm the one like being out of vibration with everything else. So I'm the one that looks like a problem. Yeah, they just kept telling me to pay, pay for it, but I was like, yo, it's not my problem. Maybe it was, but no, it was something I was willing to fight for. Bring the police in. I was like, yo, bring the case out soon. I'll talk to him about it, and then we can, we can do it like that. But I, and I thought they were actually going to come. That's why I was trying to get away, but like, that's why I was just going to walk away sooner, but the fight was going on for like it wasn't a fight it was just a fucking it was just me trying to not go unconscious that was uh it was just me doing that for 10 minutes and then i don't know how long everyone just watching like as if they're just like watching a tv screen um And, uh, like, I was like, yo, bring the case. That's after I went unconscious and after everything, I was like, holy. So, yeah, bring bring them. I'll talk to them about it. But they didn't even bring them the whole time. <laughs> they didn't even bring, they, they didn't even bring the police. So, it was, that was literally just all in their control. So, they were just trying to. It wasn't even like a situation where they were trying to hold me for the police to get me. That was literally just them trying to... Feel out their ego's fantasies. Fuck. I completely get Tai Chi. I understand him. But that's coming from his own ego's perspective. I could, I put that aside. I could put it aside. I'm chilling. I don't even see it as a loss. What are we gonna do? I told him. I said earlier. A good, a good fighter knows, can pick his battles. He knows when he can win. He knows, he knows when, when it's not time to fight. He knows when, he knows when he can't win. We're not God. I'm just, I'm just man. That's a vibe. That's a vibe right there. Like he doing shit right. Like he, <laughs> he doing shit right right there, but. He's fucking being an idiot. His ego is retaliating. He's throwing shit. As we're like, I would he they were finally let us go, right? And then it got I I his shoes were on the floor and he was on like the other side. It was like all the people, a bunch of people like here. That she was over here, I was here. I grabbed his shoes because he was over here before and I grabbed his shoes and I gave it to him. And I was like, yo, I whispered to him like yo, let's run. I actually thought they were gonna chase us. And I said, yo, let's run, let's run, let's go, let's go. And then after a moment, man, he was literally uncontrollable. He didn't even listen to me. Fucking idiot. Like, you gotta know your team. You gotta have some trust with your with your people. But Yeah, he, and then finally I was like, 
I guess finally we got away. I got his shoes. He's like, you know, we ran away and they didn't even chase us. I thought they were going to chase us. Like I was preparing to do a fucking 200 yard dash, 2,000 yard dash, but they didn't, even, they didn't even chase us. So it was, that was literally just a situation where they wanted to. Understand that you feel weak out here you feel weak and you, you're never able to prove it proving it in an MMA fight is proving it in an MMA fight is uh, not really that may not be completely satisfactory I feel like it would be though I don't know I feel like it would be I don't know. I guess you can't prove it in society. You got this uh, law above your head all the time. In this conformist, super conformist society. Can't do that. In America, you could do it, but... It just shows you... Your mind is weak. Your mind is weak. I don't, I don't feel the need to do that. That it comes up, but I, you know, but I generally, there's a level of awareness, a level of ishki. And look at me right now, I'm feeling so righteous right now. I'm feeling so righteous. I feel dicey though, we could have just popped them. We could have done some shit, but they were MMA fighters. I'm not that skilled in fighting, so I don't know if that would have been the best bet for me, but it would have been fun to scrap at least. Do something from my side. But I didn't because I thought the police was gonna show up. I thought they had the law on their on their side, but I guess they didn't. They they never called them it was that was oh. what now I know a little more and that's the problem when you're Like, you think of ego as, like, this, this, like, kind of bad thing. You know, this evil thing. But an ego, a righteous ego is, is worse than a evil ego. The evil ego at least knows an ego that thinks it's being a villain or doing something wrong at least there's a level of awareness but an ego that feels righteous that's even dangerous because it can't even see it's flaws My adrenaline is so high. I feel I feel ready to box. I think um, I think I can do this. That was the first time I got knocked out. I actually, in my, I wanted to. I want to be. I want to start boxing, and I told myself I'm never gonna get knocked out. I'm never gonna go unconscious. But I just did. <laughs> So, look what that dude, he was walking by me, he just nodded his head as he was walking by me. Some people feel me. I don't know, I'm not even on completely Daichi's side. I understand 
this side I understand that side I'm somewhere in the middle they're both right but they're also both biased I can't even tell if I am but that's what I think One thing I don't like about what I did was after I got knocked out and all that unconscious, I was just trying to be cool, I guess, and I was laughing and stuff and smiling at them, acting like nothing happened. I don't know if that was right. I don't know if that was weak. Maybe I should have just saw them for the... weak-minded beings they are. That might just be me. I don't know, this is over. But I do feel wrong, Jenna. This is just my resistance to that. Knowing physically, I can't do anything about it. I guess what really pisses me off is no one recorded it. No one recorded it. Not a single person. Used. I would see like Americans recording stuff, you know, <laughs> and uh, I thought it was dumb, you know, but now after seeing the other side where there was no one recording, maybe there's, there's, a, there's enough heroes in America maybe, <laughs> but I realized there are no heroes here. And it's crazy because I thought there was a lot of heroes here. A lot of people look like they'd be heroes. But no one, no one's, no one recorded. I wondered anything. No Japanese person said a single thing. No one chimed in. No one. No one. The only ones that chimed in were Americans. Two American foreigners. Even those idiots didn't even help me. I apologize for calling them idiots, but they didn't. If you're gonna help someone, you should listen to them. And I was telling them to record, but they didn't even do that. They were just trying to, they made their, they just like made a, did their little own heroic fantasy. And they were trying to make up the story like, oh, he's coming with us, so I'm gonna go to the hotel. Like they were trying to make a play. That's not what I needed. I just needed uh, someone to record. That's it. So, on both sides, people are too caught up with being who they are. the point like the way I'm feeling right now is just 
super like not give a fuck, you know? To social pressure or anything like that. I'm um, just, I don't give a fuck, so I just like sat down on the train to, I'm just moving my body in the way it wants to move. And all people can say is, it's kawaii, that I'm kawaii. It's all an act. It's all an act for everyone here. Any, any relationship with survival, any relationship with death, I guess that may be the next step in evolution. Japan is a very developed country. But everyone here is forgetting. People could literally feel my energy. Two people just got up, got out of their seats and walked away. I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but... I understand Daichi. I don't, I don't want to be understanding anymore. I just want to, I want to be right for once. For the past two years, I've been trying to figure out who I am and the labels I've come up with is an artist but more so an entertainer and I've been observing what is entertaining in every way, comedy, comedic, dramatic, what pulls people in, in every single way, real, fake, what are people drawn to, and this Seems like it has nothing to do with entertainment. It may not. Maybe I have entertainment mixed up with power. Maybe it's power that I truly want. This resentment I'm holding, these raw feelings in my heart, it has a draw to it. People notice a girl just rode on her bike. People are looking at me. swivels her head all the way around a complete 90 degree is this entertainment or is 
is it just a pool? I guess to be entertaining, the people have to want to listen to you. And for people to do that, they gotta take you seriously. Because they take themselves seriously. have this desire to stand by what I'm saying without flinching in a way I never did before. I'd always be open-minded. And now I feel like I'm not open-minded at all, but there's no violence. anybody it's just the strength pouring out of my heart Inside real quick. 